Okay guys, so I decided to cut my plywood to fit right inside of this old vintage frame. This frame happens to be 9 by 20 and so I went ahead and measured it, marked it, and now I am marking my pin holes to put the dowel pins. Now I am marking two and a half inches from each outside point and there's four inches in between each pin. So um, this allows me to have eight spots for donuts, which is more than enough. But if you want more, you just use a bigger piece of plywood. Now my plywood is a quarter of an inch thick. I wish I would have had some half inch thick plywood. So anyways, um, and this, I have uh, some dowels and I liked the size of this one, and so I marked two inch spots and I cut eight of them and just give a nice little light sanding. You could use a miter saw as well, um, but and you could make them longer if you have larger donuts to hang on your donut board. So just make sure that your drill bit is the same as your dowel pin. You can even um, do a test drill to make sure that the, the pin fits in just right. You don't want it loose, but obviously it has to be big enough to fit. I went ahead and put some painter's tape to help with the like drill out. Um, I didn't want the wood cracking a ton. And as you'll see, it did a little bit. It is a quarter inch thick plywood, but it was okay because I'm going to paint it and then just give a nice light sanding to get the rough spots off. Now with my miter saw, I went ahead and clamped down my plywood and then I'm just eyeing it. I, I decided to not use a guide because my edges will be framed. Um, I just you do it nice and steady. Some people will use painter's tape to prevent tear out, whatever you prefer. And so once your plywood is all cut, you can go ahead and give the edges a little sanding. Now I'm not priming this um, because I the chalk paint does a fine job and that's all I'm using. Um, I ended up doing two coats and just making sure it was totally dry before I glued it in. I'm just using E6000 glue and it's just one of the mini ones I got from the dollar store and I'm putting little bits all the way around and then once you set it in face down um, then you can go ahead and make sure to put some boards on it to weigh it down so that it's really in there and give that 24 hours to cure and then you'll know that it's all set. Once it is set, flip it over, put some support boards, and go ahead and hammer in your dowel pins. Now the reason I'm doing the dowel pins now is because I wanna go ahead and add um, a protective coat, and I'm adding the protective coat to the dowel pins as well. Um, if you are not doing that step, um, which I highly advise you do, but if you don't, you could go ahead and fast forward to the stand portion. However, um, it only takes a little bit to add some matte finish polyurethane. And what this does is it, once it's totally dried and cured, it makes it so that it's a food safe surface. Um, and you can wipe it clean with a damp washcloth. Now I just took off this old hinge from a vintage shutter that I had. You could of course buy a hinge, just make sure the screws aren't too long and that they'll fit into your frame. And then I just used um, this one by two piece of scrap that I had. So I set up the hinge, I marked the spots, I screwed in the screws, and then I'm going to find um, the center of my frame. So at, at this point, it's you have to be a little bit careful because the dowel pins are in and you don't wanna put too much weight. Um, which again, with half inch thick plywood, it would be even more secure. I'd probably do two and a half inch pins, but this is only quarter inch thick plywood. So um, go ahead and find the, the center of your frame, and then you're just gonna mark the holes. Make sure you drill some pilot spots, but don't go too deep because you don't want it coming out the other side of your frame. Um, this was a little bit tricky because I had to kind of lean the one by two on my shoulder while I lined it up, marked the spots. It's, um, it's not a perfect 
stand by any means, but it totally does the job so that it can freestand and doesn't have to lean against a wall. I don't have to set it up in an easel, which is really nice. Okay, so once your spots are marked, your pilot holes are drilled, make sure that the hinge is being connected the correct way. And the correct way is so that your stand folds completely down so it's compact and stores really nice and easily. Um, get your screws in and that is it. You're all done and ready to go. Okay guys, that's it. I have my little donut display all set up. Um, of course, you can do it however you want. I use some coffee filters to add just a little flourish behind some of the donuts and then I even doubled up on some of the donuts. And so that might give you an idea if that's something you want to do also. You may want to do longer dowel pins. But anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this twist on a donut board. Um, I am excited to use it over the years. So please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.